What do you get for Mother's Day? A gift. What about for Father's Day? A gift. What about for a birthday, Valentine's Day, or the day somebody graduates? A gift. You see where I'm going with this? There's pretty much a gift for literally any occasion that you can think of. You can give a gift for just about anything. Even if there is no occasion, you can just give a gift because you're appreciative of something or because you just want to be nice and give something to someone. Regardless of the occasion for the gift, one thing's certain, you're going to spend money. Sometimes you're going to spend more times than others. A lot of the times it depends on who you're giving a gift to or the occasion but you're always going to be spending money. Also, some people love giving extravagant gifts while others like giving a bunch of different gifts. It's really all up to the person giving the gift. That being said, having an e-commerce store that's based around gifts could be quite lucrative. You can have a store that changes products depending on the holiday that's coming up, or you can have a store that sells the same holiday items year round. Regardless of how you go about it, having a dropshipping business based around gifts is a very good idea. Look at it this way. Let's say Valentine's Day is coming up and you have a brick and mortar store. So you have a physical location and you want to start offering different Valentine's day gift. What are you going to do? You're going to order a bunch of different gifts and hope they sell. Remember that there's not going to be a guarantee that you sell all of the gifts and whatever you don't sell after Valentine's Day, you're either going to have to give at a discount or just wait until next year. Having physical inventory in particular for holidays can be hit or miss. Now, let's say you have an online store and you decide to drop ship all your gifts, then you really don't have much to lose. Remember that when we're drop shipping, we're not holding any physical inventory and we're not placing an order with our suppliers until somebody places an order with us. So really, there's almost no risk involved. The chances to be left with outdated stock is pretty much zero. In this video, I'm going to give you a few key steps to success when starting your dropshipping business based around gifts, in particular in the UK. Now, not only that, I'm also going to give you 15 different suppliers that you can use to source your gifts. Now, make sure you stick around all the way to the end because I can guarantee you that a few of these suppliers you haven't heard of. Now, without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and run that intro and let's get started. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. And if you like informative videos on the dropshipping business, as well as staying up to date with the latest and most trending products, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as click that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future updates. Now let's get started. So when starting our gift dropshipping business in the UK, one of the first things that we need to do is obviously find what products we wanna sell. Now the term gift can be extremely broad. There's a ton of different items that can encompass just in the word gift. A gift can be a t-shirt, some roses, a piece of jewelry, pretty much anything can be a gift. So since we have such a wide selection of products to choose from, it's important to know which ones would actually sell because we don't want to fill up our store with just any products that are just going to sit there. Even though we are drop shipping and we don't really have anything to lose when it comes to inventory and space, we always want to make sure that we're stocked up with winning products versus items that are just going to sit there in our digital space. There's a few different product research methods that we can use to be able to find the best selling products for our gift drop shipping store. One of those is just checking out the best sellers or checking out items that have already sold. So for this, we can use something like like eBay. Let's say we're looking for Mother's Day gifts. So we can look up Mother's Day gifts. This is of course a very broad term, but we can see what's actually selling within that niche. Now these are all the different gifts that we get. We can go ahead and actually just scroll down on the side here where it says show only. Let's go ahead and check off sold items. Now we're going to see only what's sold. So you have bouquets. Bouquets are huge during Mother's Day. You have some self-care items, some jewelry, a couple mugs. So these are all items that have sold and the price that they've sold at. Here what you can do is start looking through all the products and see what type of products that sold the most. So let's take, for example, bouquets. If you notice that a lot of bouquets have been selling, then you can consider that one product to be able to add to your dropshipping store. Another cool option that you have is being able to spy on your competitors. So this is actually fairly easy, especially if you have an app like Koala Inspector. Koala Inspector can give you a lot of insight into competitors' Shopify stores. Aside from that, you also have things like the AliExpress Dropship Center, where you can jump on here and just check out what items have been selling in a particular niche or whatever search term you decide to look up on AliExpress. So as you can see here, these are all the different Mother's Day gifts that have sold on AliExpress. Now, if we really want to get serious with our product research and we really want to find the best and most trending products and we want to know what's making them sell so well, then we can check out the winning product section over at AutoDS.com. Now, remember, just about anything can be a gift. So that being said, when we're looking at the winning product section, we just have to find something that fits our website. So in this case, the first thing we have to do is just make sure we're shipping to the UK. So let's switch this over to the United Kingdom. So let's look at this little pendant right here. It only costs about 95 cents. So let's click on this. Now, as you can see this is a super simple nice little pendant you can give this as a gift to your mom your dad your significant other or really just about anybody that you care about and we can see that the item cost is only 95 cents now let's scroll down a little bit and let's see that most of them are being sold for about 40 dollars that gives us a potential profit of 36 dollars and 99 cents now this is a proven winning product this item has sold before and there's proof that it's been selling if you just check out the supplier's website you'll see how many they've sold and you can check out all the different reviews now not just that if you just 
just scroll down a little bit, you can find a bit more proof and you can see the Facebook ad. So let's look at the Facebook ad that this particular seller is running. And you're going to see that it has over 8,000 likes. That's a lot. It has close to 700 comments and over 535 people have shared this particular Facebook ad. Really, the marketing on this ad is what's making it a best seller. If you look at the cover image here, it says that there's no one like you and it's the image of the pendant with two people hugging. It's simple, meaningful and straight to the point. Now, if you look at the target audience for this Facebook ad, you can see that this is actually targeted more towards females between the ages of 14 and 65 with a marital status of either single or married because again you can give this to just about anybody you can give it to either your significant other or your parents with an interest in jewelry and fashion now let's go into a little bit more detail before we continue forward and let's actually look at the seller's website so under the auto ds insights you're going to have a link to the website so here you can see the listing for the item itself and you can see it's actually pretty clean everything is simple straight to the point self-explanatory i don't know how limited it really is because remember they're drop shipping this so most of the times something like this can be just a marketing tactic so we know what products we want to sell we know how to find the best products to be able to sell now we have to find out where we're going to source them from where are we going to purchase these products from to be able to quickly and efficiently supply our customers with their items speaking of suppliers i know i promised you all 15 different suppliers and we're going to get to that i promise you but not just yet just stick with me for a little bit longer right now we're going to quickly talk about choosing the one that's right for you so when we're choosing our suppliers one of the most important things that we have to do is see if they have clear business policies and what i mean by that is check out their privacy policy make sure they have one even if you don't fully understand it just make sure that they have one and that it's properly written at least if you click on someone's privacy policy and it just has a bunch of random text stay away <laughs> another thing to look out for is an about us section whenever you click on an about us tab most of the time you're going to be taken to a page where all they do is talk a little bit about the company when they were founded what they do things like that just make sure that they have one and that it's a brief description of the company itself check to see if they have a fact page or a frequently asked questions page where you can find some of the most common questions and concerns that the company usually gets with all their answers. Check out their shipping policy, see how long it takes for them to ship items, see where their warehouses are at, and how long it typically takes to have items delivered. Also, see what fulfillment services they use, like USPS, UPS, FedEx, and whatever other carriers they could potentially use. Something extremely important that you always need to check out also is the returns and refund policy. Always look into that because if there's ever an occasion where a customer receives a damaged or the wrong good, you want to make sure that you can quickly reach out to your supplier and have the issue fixed, whether it be an exchange of the item or a refund. You always want to make sure that your supplier accepts returns or exchanges to just avoid any problems down the line. You always want to make sure that your supplier has fast and responsive customer service. Now, the easiest way to be able to test this is simply by just sending them an email. Ask them a few questions about certain products or what the refund policy is and just see how they get back to you, see how quick they get back to you. And most importantly, make sure that you can understand what they're saying. Since a lot of suppliers that we end up going with tend to be in China, we want to make sure that language is not a problem. Remember that when a customer asks you a question, most of the time you're going to end up forwarding that question to your supplier. So the customer service that you receive from them is going to be what you end up giving to your customer. So you want to make sure that it's the best possible quality that it can be. Another thing to look out for is making sure that the supplier that you go with has a wide variety of items or gifts. In this case, if we're looking at the age gate, we can see that they have a ton of different Father's Day gifts. And if we search up Mother's Day gifts, Valentine's Day gifts, or whatever else, there's also going to be a large selection. One of the last things that we want to make sure of is that they have domestic warehouses. They can be international, but just make sure that wherever the warehouse is located is going to be where you're going to be shipping to because the closer the warehouse is to the area that you're going to be drop shipping to the quicker that your customers are going to get their products and the happier they're going to be if you're shipping to the uk and your supplier's warehouse is all the way in china it's going to take quite some time for your product to get to your customer and customers don't like waiting as we all know the next key step in building our successful gift drop shipping business in the uk is finding a selling platform that's right for us and that works in the uk remember that some selling channels will work in certain areas while others won't in the uk in particular the best ones that you can go with are going to be Shopify, Wix, or eBay. A couple of key differences from eBay, Shopify, and Wix is eBay is a marketplace while Shopify and Wix are your own custom e-commerce stores. So when it comes to Shopify and Wix, you're going to be building your own website while eBay, you're just going to be listing on their platform. When you're selling on eBay, you really don't have any investment. All you have to do is list your item and if it sells, you pay the fee. If it doesn't, then the listing is going to stay up until it sells free of charge. With eBay, you also have organic traffic. So people that go to eBay are already looking to purchase a particular item while implementing different marketing tactics to be able to increase your sales on eBay can help. It's not always necessary. As I mentioned earlier, eBay is a marketplace and people are going to that website already ready to buy something. So as long as you have a relevant item to what they're searching for, chances are they could find it and they can make the purchase. Now, when you're marketing your products on the website like Shopify or Wix, then that's your own website. So marketing is going to be a big part of selling your items. Chances are you're not going to have the organic traffic that a website like eBay is going to have because people just aren't going to know about your website.
website. So in this case, really, it's up to you to be able to start bringing your website in front of the eyes of other people with things like influencer marketing, email marketing, Facebook ads, and a few different options. Now, a huge upside to using a platform like Shopify or Wix is the fact that you have apps. There's a bunch of different apps to be able to help you upsell, market your products, bundle your items, and more to be able to help you increase your sales. All right, so we know how to do the product research, we know how to find our suppliers, and we know what platform we're gonna be selling on. Now, how do we start getting our listings from our suppliers to our websites? For one, you can start manually listing all your products. That can take anywhere between five to over 20 minutes, depending on how much you have to copy over, what you have to optimize, what you have to rewrite. Let's say you have to rewrite the entire description because the one from your supplier isn't very good. Same thing with the title. Maybe you have to import all your images, but you have to save them a different way because in some cases, you're not able to right click and then save the image as. So depending on a bunch of different factors, it can be really quick or it can take a long time. Now, when it's just one or two items, it's fine. But when you start adding multiple products, maybe 10 or 11 or more, it can start to get extremely time consuming. Let's assume it takes you 15 minutes to upload one product and you have to upload 10 different products. That's 150 minutes translated into hours. That's two and a half hours uploading products only. That's a long time to only upload 10 at that. In this case, your best bet to save a ton of time is to pretty much just automate the entire importing process of all your products. Now, AutoDS helps with this in quite a few different ways. For one, we offer our one-click importer or our bulk uploader. Now, I really like the one-click importer, which I'll show you in a second, but let me quickly show you the bulk import. So just click on add products and then you can either add a single product or multiple products. This is super simple to do. Click on the single product, choose your store, and then all you have to do is type in the URL or the product ID and the products will be imported to your drafts. Now, aside from that, the multiple products, you can go ahead and add the products, click on multiple products and paste in all the different URLs or upload a CSV file. But the one that I really want to show you guys that I absolutely love is the one click importer. Now, the one click importer is an awesome tool because it does literally just that. It imports your products in just one click. And for this, all you need is the AutoDS Chrome extension. So as you can see, I actually already have it down here on the bottom right of my screen. So once we click into the product itself, you're going to see this little import to AutoDS button right on top of the title. Let's go ahead and click on that and let's choose the store that we want to upload it to. In this case, I'm just going to upload it to my eBay UK store. Click save and that's it. You're going to find this product in your draft section over at your AutoDS dashboard. Now from there, all you really have to do is just optimize the title, the description and see what photos you want to keep. And that's pretty much it. Your product is ready to go live in your store. Now, one of the most crucial steps to be able to start getting sales and getting our products in front of the eyes of new people is marketing our website. Now, there's a few different ways we can go about this depending on the platform that you're selling on. So for one, we can run pay-per-click ads or simply put Facebook ads. Well, most commonly known as Facebook ads. Pay-per-click ads also applies for Google ads as well as YouTube ads. The way this works is actually fairly simple. The platform that you're running your ads on is going to put your ad in front of the eyes of your target audience. That target audience is set by you. Now, each time somebody clicks on your ad, the platform is going to charge you a fee. That fee is set by you when you're setting up your ads. Now, typically this kind of marketing technique with the pay-per-click ads is usually reserved for platforms like Shopify or Wix, where you need to bring in the traffic yourself, typically in the form of ads. But if you're using a platform like eBay, you also have a similar option. With the eBay pay-per-click ads, what's going to happen is whenever somebody searches a term that's relevant to your product, then eBay is going to put it all the way at the top of the listing. You're going to see a little message on the bottom that says sponsored. And whenever somebody clicks on that listing, then you're going to get charged your fee. Aside from that, eBay has another ad type that actually charges you after your customer has placed their order. Another awesome way to be able to start marketing your product is using influencer marketing. What you're going to do in this case is you're going to look for an influencer, typically somebody with a bunch of followers, maybe in the tens of thousands on either Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. And you're going to send them a free product or a few different free products for them to try and review on their channel. From there, their followers are going to see the product. They're going to like it and they're going to run over to your website and make a purchase. Now, if you want a bit more information on marketing your products, then check out the description down below. I'm going to have a link to the relevant article down there. Everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video is actually going to be in that article. So if you want to check it out, just know that it's going to be in the description. Now that we're running ads and marketing our different products, now we're going to start getting some sales. At this point, what we have to do is make sure that we start fulfilling all our orders in a timely manner. Now we have two different options to be able to start fulfilling our orders. For one, we can start going to all our suppliers and making each purchase individually, which is pretty much what we're going to have to end up doing, especially if we have multiple customers. So if we have 10 different customers, we're going to have to place 10 different orders on our supplier's websites. Now, just like the product importing, one or two is fine, but when you start to get into the bigger numbers, it can get very time consuming. At this point, it's best to start automatically fulfilling all our orders using AutoDS. Our order automation process is super simple to use and keeps you as well as your customer updated the entire way. So what's going to happen is once your customer places the order on your website, AutoDS is going to either use its automatic order fulfillment or it's fulfilled by AutoDS feature and fulfill your customer's order. So what's going to end up happening is AutoDS is going to go to your supplier's website, place the order, and as soon as it ships, your customer is going to get a tracking number. Now you can track the entire process 
process here on your orders page in AutoDS. As you can see, you have a few that are shipped, a few that are pending, one that was canceled, and a few other orders with their respective statuses. Now that that's done, orders are fulfilled, tracking numbers are sent out. The next thing is to provide the best possible customer service that you can. If somebody has any issues with their products, if there's an issue with the delivery, the shipping, they don't like it, or maybe it's broken, you always want to respond to those emails as quickly as you can. Always stay in constant contact with your customers because they always appreciate that. If you can get back to them fairly quick, usually within 24 hours, customers are always very satisfied. Typically, they don't like waiting more than a day to be able to hear back from you. Now that we know the key steps to starting our successful gift dropshipping business, now let's start talking about the suppliers that we recommend over at AutoDS. Before I do start the countdown though, I want to quickly mention that I have a cheat sheet where I incorporate everything that I talked about in this video so that way you can easily reference. If you want access to that cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment down below hashtag gifts 2023 along with what types of gifts you're going to be selling. Are they going to be for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, overall just general gifts? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll reply back with access to the cheat sheet. Kicking off this list at number one is none other than AliExpress UK. AliExpress UK has an insane amount of products on there. They have an endless amount of different products, different gifts for different occasions. Just stay away from things like this, Disney, Marvel, Pokemon, just try not to sell any branded products. But aside from that, you're never going to be running out of items to sell. You see like they have this Mickey one over here. Try to stay away from branded products. A lot of the times selling things like this can potentially land you in some legal trouble. So it's just best to stay away from that. Go with a few different options that are a bit more generic. So things like chains, bouquets, as we spoke about earlier, and a bunch of different things. And as you can see, AliExpress also has some very affordable pricing. So it makes it easier to price your items a lot more competitively. AliExpress also has warehouses in the UK. So you can rest assured that your items are going to be delivered to your customers in a timely manner. And as we covered earlier, and as we all know, customers love getting their items quickly. They don't like waiting more than a week or two to get their products. Next up in our second spot, we have Amazon UK. Now, Amazon is known by absolutely everyone. They have an insane amount of product options and they have absolutely amazing customer service with extremely fast shipping. Best thing is they also have warehouses conveniently located in the UK. So your customers are going to be getting their orders pretty much next day or within two days, especially if you're using Amazon Prime. Best thing is they have local warehouses in the UK. So your customers are going to be getting their orders fairly quick, usually within the week. In our third spot, we have eBay UK. On eBay, you can find just about anything. You can use eBay to either sell your items or as a supplier. And as you can see, just searching up watches, there's a ton of different items on here that are perfect for gifts. Now, there's going to be a variety of sellers on eBay, just like there's a variety of items. So when you're choosing the different items that you want to sell, you want to make sure that you're purchasing from a seller that is located in the UK. That's going to ensure quick shipping and happier customers. On top of that, eBay has awesome customer service, whether it be from the different sellers or eBay themselves, and they have the buyer seller protection program. So if anything goes wrong with an order, whether it be on the seller side or the buyer side, you can contact eBay and they'll help fix the issue. Up next in our fourth spot, we have Wayfair UK. Wayfair UK has a ton of different products. And when I say a ton, I literally mean a ton. They have over 15 million different products from over 11,000 different sellers around the entire world. Now, when using Wayfair as a supplier, you really want to take advantage of their MyWay program. Their MyWay program gives you access to tons of different items that aren't available to the general public. And it also gives you access to free and same day shipping. Another good thing about Wayfair is that they have a lot of high ticket items, which translates to higher profits. In our number five spot, we have Banggood UK. Banggood UK is primarily a Chinese supplier, but they have warehouses all around the world. They have warehouses in the UK and have a huge selection of low cost items. One of the best things about them though, is the fact that they have exclusive deals as well as cashback options. So using them, you're always going to have a few extra ways to be able to either increase your profit a little bit or save a little bit of money. Now they also offer non-branded package or they ship blindly, which pretty much just means that the customer is going to receive their item in a blank package. They're not going to know where you purchased it from. They're not even going to know that you purchased it from somebody else and drop ship. They're going to think that it's coming from one of your warehouses. In our sixth spot, we have Costway UK. Now this is one of those new ones that I'm pretty sure you probably haven't heard about. So let's look into them a little bit. Costway offers white label products, which means you can brand the products as your own. You can get in contact with Costway and have them print your logos either on the products or the packaging. So this really helps you start building brand awareness. Costway is a company that has dropshipping in mind, so they actually have a dropshipping program as well. As a dropshipper, you're able to join their dropshipping program with a few extra features. For one, you can get free two-day shipping, wholesale pricing, and up to a three-month warranty on the products. Now, personally, I think that three-month warranty is absolutely amazing, especially for the higher ticket items. In our seventh spot, we have Vita Excel UK. Vita Excel actually has over 90,000 different products, and they have this particular dropshipping program called the Dropshipping Excel. The Vita Excel program gives you access to free shipping, as well as translation to over 20 different languages for your products. 
So let's say we want to sell this little dog over here in a few different markets. We can have the listing and the title translated to a bunch of different languages. In our number eight spot, we have DHgate UK. Over here at DHgate, you have a bunch of different items, all at some pretty affordable prices. You also have access to wholesale pricing as well as UK warehouses. So you can rest assured that you're going to be getting some quick shipping for your customers. Just typing in the word gifts gives you a ton of different items. So you know that using DHgate, you're always going to have a new item to be able to offer. Now, all of the suppliers that I just spoke about are compatible with AutoDS. So using Using any of the previously mentioned suppliers, you're able to benefit from automation. Remember that implementing automation into our stores can save us a ton of time that we can reinvest to be able to keep scaling. Now, the suppliers that I'm about to mention are unfortunately not supported by AutoDS, but they're still worth a look because they have some pretty good options. So to continue this list at number nine, we have AW Dropship. Now, in order to use AW Dropship, you do have to register for an account with them. Luckily though, that's completely free. Now, AW Dropship does have a minimum order quantity. While it's not the best for dropshippers since we're not really keeping any inventory, having a minimum order quantity alone just means that we can't order just one product. So as I mentioned, as a dropshipper, it's not really convenient to have a minimum order quantity pretty much at all. But what we can do to overcome something like this is instead of having art listings offering one item, we can have listings that offer multiple items or bundled items. Now, a really cool thing about AW Dropship is the fact that they have a two year warranty on their products, except for consumables. So if you have any issues with your products a year down the line, you can contact them and they'll help you out. AW Dropship many manufactures all of their products in the UK, so you can rest assured that you're always going to have some speedy delivery. For the most part, using AW, the gift products that you're going to be offering are going to be things like bath bombs, soaps, oils, aromatherapy products, jewelry, incense, fragrances, and a few other things. Up next at our number 10 spot, we have Pucketer. Pucketer, as you can tell just by looking at their homepage, is a website that has a ton of different gifts. Now, just like our previous supplier, you do have to register for an account with them in order to be able to use them as a supplier, but it's free, so there's no issues there. They also offer a wholesale program, which gives you better prices to all of their products, but they have a minimum order quantity of a hundred pounds. Now this isn't a huge issue because ultimately it ends up paving the way for higher profits. All we have to do is just start focusing on some higher ticket items and bundled items. They also have three day shipping in the UK. So your customers are going to get their orders fairly quick. Now in our 11th spot, we have something a bit different and that's something different with something different. You're going to have a wide variety of products ranging from fragrances to soaps to jewelry and more. They offer quick shipping, which is typically between three to five days and also offer express shipping. They have some competitive pricing and they also have some awesome customer service. And if you order over 35 pounds, you qualify for free shipping. In our number 12 spot, we have a trusted wholesale supplier named UKSM Trade. UKSM offers over 6,000 high quality products and best of all, they have non-branded packaging. So when your customer receives their order, again, they're not even gonna know that you purchased it from somebody else or from a supplier. They're gonna think that you're the one that shipped it from your warehouse. UKSM also has some really high quality images attached to their products. So here we're looking at a few oil burners and you can see right away that their images are super clean, super sharp, straight to the point, no clutter. They're really high quality. When using UKSM as your dropshipping supplier for gifts, the products that you're mainly going to be focused on that they offer is going to be florists, sun dries, wedding and event decorations, parties, and garden specific products. In our 13th spot for gift suppliers in the UK, we have signature gifts. For the most part, the majority of items that you're going to find on signature gifts is going to be books and newspapers. But the cool thing about that is you can customize them. You can customize the majority of the products with different names, images, quotes, almost whatever you want. Signature Gifts also works with dropshippers to be able to provide easy bulk upload options. In our number 14 spot, we have Oso Cherished and Oso Cherished has over 2000 different items that you can sell as gifts and are customizable. Now, while not all of their products are customizable, they do have a section specifically for personalized gifts. They have some really quick shipping times. And as you can see, they have some very professional looking photos. All of their product images are clean straight to the point and really focus on the item itself. They also have a team of in-house professional designers to get your items looking as best as possible. Now, last but certainly not least, in our number 15 spot, we have personalized trade gifts. As you can see, all of the different options over here, personalized trade gifts has a wide variety of items for you to be able to offer. They have quick delivery. They also have professional designers to be able to get the best look on your products as possible. And for the most part, after shipping, customers tend to get their items between two to four business days. Now, these are our top 15 suppliers for gift trade dropshipping. Now, even though I gave you 15 different options, remember there's a lot more suppliers out there that you can look into. And when you're choosing your supplier and finally settling down with one, always have a few more as a backup. Just in case something goes wrong with one supplier, maybe they run out of stock or their price fluctuates too much. You can always find the same item in a few different suppliers. So try to have a few different ones as backup. Remember that I have that cheat sheet that I made for you all. If you want access to it with all the information that I spoke about in this video, make sure to comment down below hashtag gifts 2023 along with what type of gifts you're going to be selling. And I'll reply back with 
access to the cheat sheet. Huge thank you to everyone for being here with me today. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS. And if you enjoyed this video today, if you found it helpful, if you found it informative, make sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any future videos and leave a like. Best of luck to all of you in your dropshipping businesses and I'll catch you all in the next video.